Okay, this is actually my third time recording this video because I just feel so awkward. It's been so long since I've made a video. The act of sitting alone in a room and just talking to an inanimate object and hearing yourself talk is very weird. It's very unnatural. To all the other YouTubers out there, I really admire you. You're doing a good job. <laughs> oh gosh, that sounded like self-praise there, but no, really, like some people can talk to the camera so naturally and I feel like maybe I'm not one of those people until I really, really warm up. So maybe the last two videos were just me warming up. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad you guys are sticking with me. Oh my gosh. And to all those people who commented on my previous video, I'm so thankful. <laughs> I read all the comments and even some of the people's comments that were a little bit harsh, I still like to thank you because, well, you took time out of your day, you watched my video, you heard my side of the story, and you took time out of your day to comment. So I'm really grateful for that. And all the other comments, oh my gosh, you guys have such great things to say. Some people offered perspectives that I have never really thought about. People are relating and I guess I just feel like I'm not alone. <laughs> it sounds kind of silly but I felt kind of unique in this experience. I was honestly thinking like okay even if people get divorced there's a divorce proceeding you can't just well I guess some people disappear but Generally, you have to state your reasons for wanting to get divorced, <laughs> like if you've been married for a decade or whatever. So I was feeling kind of alone, but I guess that was obviously naive of me. People have gone through similar experiences and more difficult experiences. So for everyone who shared your experience, uh, a big thank you to that because yeah, it just made me feel like not alone. <laughs> oh gosh, that's so odd because usually I feel like I don't really mind feeling alone. I usually want to feel like I'm alone and I'm unique and no one understands my pain. Like, I don't know if other INFPs relate to this, but yeah, it's kind of maybe an FI thing, maybe an Enneagram 4 thing. Anyway, the comments helped me a lot. Now let's go to the name change. You had good suggestions, but then I just decided to name it however I wanted to name my channel. Okay, so the main suggestions were something to do with the theme of coffee, so INFP coffee, MBTI coffee, INFP cafe, MBTI cafe. They were all really good. Someone mentioned Apocalypso, <laughs> like the apocalypse but with my name, haha, <laughs> very funny. Uh, yeah, there were really good name suggestions but in the end I decided to go with casual cognition. I just really like that name and I'll explain why I think it fits later but you know the thing about coffee, naming it that would be smart to keep like the continuity of previous channel name to current channel name but I just have a different set of associations to that now so like quick lesson I guess on how SI works, introvert sensing. Previously I had all these positive associations with coffee, like self-care time, intellectual conversation, casual hangout with friends time, even like the thought of an acquaintanceship becoming a friendship. So I had all these like introverted sensing associations to coffee. But then like when I quit coffee, because of the negative effects that it had on my body, you know, that's not to say that caffeine has the same effect on everyone, but like Unbeknownst to me, I was having all these negative effects caused by coffee that I didn't know about until I quit. So after I quit, I have all these negative associations like stress and anxiety. And to be honest, I have the association to my old channel, I guess. The channel that I used to run with Alex. And I guess I just want to get as far away from that as I can mentally, emotionally speaking. Content speaking, it's gonna be like similar. It's gonna be like on par. But yeah, just like mentally, I want to detach myself from all of that. And I thought that casual cognition was a great name because honestly, this channel has always been a little bit casual. And I think that's what people liked about it. It's, it was never two presenters who are experts being like, let me tell you everything about kind of functions. It was always like, oh, we're just having a conversation and we might discover some things together and you can tell me your feedback. And you know, over time I've become more formal, but I think my motto has always 
in big ideas, small words, and that I want to convey the most complex of things in a way that's understandable to everyone. I want to use examples that are relatable and understandable to everyone. Like I basically want to do explain like I'm five if you follow that subreddit. I just don't see any point in being pretentious or using all these like complex words or complex metaphors when the simple ones will do just fine. Like I want to make this relatable to everyone so that hopefully more people in the world will catch on that hey kind of functions and kind of types they're important and they're helpful to my life and i'm gonna apply them and type my friends and everything and besides that i still want to do those more casual videos that are just for fun oh like for example my video like 10 sample INFPs. So I'm still gonna do that, <laughs> but I also wanted to do things like 10 sample fictional INFPs. Yeah, like I wanted to talk about the kind of types of fictional characters. Obviously that's not a very serious endeavor because it's not mm, really provable. Well, not that the kind of types of real people are currently provable either, but it's like on a, on a more happy-go-lucky fun kind of thing and I might do some more skits because uh, I enjoy doing those. Like, even though it's very stereotypical, you guys seem to enjoy it too. So yeah, I might do all sorts of like fun little things to keep myself happy, <laughs> keep myself entertained because if I just present every day. I don't think I'll keep up with this channel. I think I'll just burn out. Yeah, and I also like to do live streaming. Yeah, I want to do so many different things. So I think by keeping casual in the name, uh, I can do all those things and I can explain everything in a casual but effective and relatable manner, hopefully. And the part about cognition, obviously that comes from the kind of functions, but cognition is also a universal mental process and I really wanted to put that in the name because I wanted to expand a little bit. Someone has recommended or requested that I do a topic video on codependency and narcissism. That's a very important psychological topic that I like to cover but I feel like if it's just INFP coffee there's not really an in for me to do that but if it's casual cognition I feel like it's the full realm of psychology I can talk about whatever I want. I can talk about like self-esteem, self-development, psychological disorders like narcissism and codependency, attachment styles, love languages. Like I can talk about all of these things that I'm very passionate about and I think are very helpful to people. By the way, a lot of people who after I type them, they're like, okay, so now that I know I'm an INTP or whatever, how can I improve my life or how can I use that knowledge to fix my low, low confidence, fix my procrastination? I'm just like, you can't. <laughs> like, you can't fix all of these universal problems by knowing your kind of type. Like, you can help yourself so much by knowing your kind of type, but you can't fix the universal issues like procrastination or low self-esteem. It's a universal issue not because everyone has low self-esteem but because any type can develop low self-esteem and has nothing to do with type. So I'd like to occasionally get into these topics but it's still gonna be mostly um, young in functions and personality type theory but occasionally I want to go into like more broader psychological topics because I think it's really 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 important that you guys know. Moreover, cognition is kind of a more formal word so I like the contrast between the casual which is a more informal word and cognition which is more, a more formal word. I, th I think it really reflects what I'm trying to do which is discuss something that's extremely useful and has great practical applications and it's quite complex when you look at it deep down and I want to explain it in a you know fun quirky individualistic manner so I hope you guys stick around for that and thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you soon. Bye!